my research did show that some people do have email policies in regard to, they just can't keep some of these board members from like emailing the wrong stuff. I don't think they understand that their emails can be discoverable. There's like a whole bunch of issues. Do you think there needs to be an email policy? Because I'm not really sure on this one. I just added it because I ran across it. I love it. Um, I really do love it because I have always been an advocate for having generic email addresses for the association. For example, board of directors at you know, at ABCHOA or president at, at ABCHOA, and that email is passed down to their successors. I also think that, and I'm not a tech guru, I'm pretty good, but a board type email where it's a shared inbox and multiple people have access to it is great. And with that, also having a policy with some rules about how emails are sent from that email inbox, with whom they can be shared, and so on and so on. I think there's multiple different benefits to doing it this way. The one thing I mentioned was that as a new president comes in, they inherit the inbox of the old president, so you don't lose records. I can't tell you how many times we've been in litigation and discovery requests are served, and they want all of the board emails for the last eight years, and we're, we're trying to find John and Mary, who, who now live in Wisconsin, and try to get the access to their email inbox. I also, when I said John and Mary, I also see this quite often, and that's a shared email inbox for a husband and a wife, and maybe only one person is on the board. There's case law that indicates that using that email would just uh, violate attorney-client privilege because the spouse has access to it. I don't know any cases right on point in South Carolina, but that's always a risk when I'm emailing a president and I see two names on the email address. It makes me really nervous, especially if we're anticipating litigation. So those are a few things I would throw out there, and I think an email policy would be absolutely a prudent idea. Wow. I wasn't expecting that because I really couldn't figure it out. I feel so strongly much. about it because of my experience of litigation and discovery and having <laughs> to deal with those things.